want everybody to listen for a second because it is something that I just want to talk about and it's something that you know really just this effect really shows it. So last week was contacted by a person down the other side of the country. I'm going to spare the local authorities so with this county council. I'm going to spare them with the shame of being mentioned because maybe they were just acting in competence in incompetent um this day or this week. But yeah, I rang them last week. Rang them last week. I emailed them first and then rang them and said, you know, this person came to me and I have a picture here, but I won't show it because it's, it's disgusting. Full pa- uh, the whole footpath in this state, full of dog shit. Full of dog shit. Kevdy, they said the Kevdy Council won't do anything about it. Um, and I was like, what? I emailed, I, 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 you know, I, I sent off, I was, you know, I, I mentioned it to them. In other words, I, I sent it off, I sent, wing the, I sent off an email first and then wing them. Right. And this is the thing, just then, the, before I get into any more detail, it's just pushing, like, you know, it takes, you nearly have to drag yourself from here to County Clare to get something done. Because, you know, again, with any department of government or any the government or with local authorities, you have to bang your head against the wall about 90 times to get something done. Um, and again, in society, you know, you can't just sit down and wait for the wind to blow. You know, it's action. We need action. Not sitting around, standing around, waiting for something to do, be done about it. Um, and that's what I wanted, I wanted the captain to do it immediately, not sit down and wait an hour for it. Um, so yeah, that was grand, last Wednesday, last Wednesday. Got a response today, got a response today, took it very, very seriously. Um, you're very, like, today's Thursday, you have long walking days, I don't know what this county council would have. Um, again, and I asked the you know, this person to see pay his walk tax, and he said he does, he pays a huge amount of walk tax. And um, does he pay his taxes, I asked. He does, because he's a self-employed person. He pays a huge amount to the government um, and to the local authorities, obviously. Um, and the, basically what the local authorities told him, we're not going to do it. We couldn't be bothered. Um, and again, I rang them. You know, again, I was told we send somebody out as soon as we can. And that was grand. The first time I said, you maybe they might do it. But yeah, yesterday, yesterday, the person got in touch with me again. And they said, no, the council didn't do anything. This is it's bad as the worst began, and I mean this is bad. Like the footpath is completely good, and there's, he even said about a woman down the street from drug the pram, Joe, and the whole wheels were covered in shit, shit, and it was like right, that's the final straw. When when the county council, I told him straight, do something or I go down. And I do something, because I was willing to go down the end on the bus and go down to their offices and drag them out if I had to to do it. Because, you know, again, this person pays his tax, and he pays his thing, and I said it straight. And I got talking to one of the head people, and I said it straight. If they don't do it, I go down and do it, and I show up the council for doing it. Um, and they done it. They done it. At least they done it. At least they went out and done it, because I said, I do something about it. Because I said, I'm not one of them people who say, I'm going to sit down and do nothing about it. I go, and I do something about it. It's the same with the dog shit. I pick up dog shit here. It's not a nice job. Really, really not nice. Not a nice job at all. But again, if I didn't do it, your local authorities wouldn't do it. Simple as that. Um, and again, it's about making the community look nicer. And it's about protecting the community, protecting people from walking through it. And people being so ignorant not to pick it up. And as he said, this person, you know, it's just because, as he said, he has young children. They're going to school, they're walking in that footpath. They're walking that they walk out of the road. And he said, you know, some of these days my children will be hit going on the, on the road because it's a public footpath and it's the responsibility of the local authorities to do something about it. So as you can see, I'm not very happy about it. I wasn't very happy that you know, I had to get to that point where I had to say to that local authority, I will go down and I'll make you do it. But yeah, this is what I'm talking. Until I said that, they didn't do anything. And I was to be very pleasant on the phone when I said the email. I said, would you please, if you get the time, would you please do it? But as soon as humanly possible, if you could do it. If you could do it tomorrow or Friday, because at that time was Wednesday, and I said, if you could do it Thursday or Friday, um, I'd be very thankful for it, I'd be very grateful. And I said, can regards, and I would like an update on this situation. Um, so yeah, you know, I was being very generous, and even on the phone, I said, you know, I, I waited on hold for about 15 minutes to talk to somebody. It was being very, very generous, and I'm sure people would agree with me, be very, very generous giving up 15 minutes just to wait for them to, you know, wait for somebody to, you know, to talk to about it. And being very, very generous. I'm sure people would agree. Very generous. So, yeah. At least, at least the moral of this story is that at least they've done it. At the end of the day, at least they've done it. But 
the thing is, and the thing that I just didn't like, and this is the thing with different departments, like I sent off an email to Matt County, Sinn Féin TD, for Kevin Monaghan and West Mead. Um, I said to him, you know, it's back there, you've probably seen me talk about the Calcum Cross um, Adults Facility there uh, for people with uh, disabilities. Um, and I asked him in the email, this was sent off yesterday, but again, you think it would be back onto me straight away. Um, a concerned citizen, a taxpaying citizen, want the no access. Um, you know, if that was me, I'd be on to them straight away. This person only said to me, like the person I was talking about there, it was only, I got back to him in an hour and I said to him, I winged the council, I emailed the council for you. Um, but yeah, Matt Kelly still hasn't got back to me. And I will, you know, I was, I was going to probably say, why you're not winging Marlon County Council, but I don't think it's Marlon County Council's responsibility to do it. I think it's either the HSC or the National Association Board, whatever fuck they call themselves. But yeah. You just, it was the same with everything. You have to drag yourself from here to County Clare to get something done. And again, we have to have a country of action, not standing down, s- sitting down and saying, oh, we wait until Christmas before we do something. And it's the same with everything. It's the same with everything. The same with this place in Calcum Cross. The same, there's no staff. But what are you going to do about it? Right. You're saying there's no staff. Sit there saying it. But do something. Do something. Employ some people. Employ people. Train some people up. There's people waiting for employment. There's people who want to walk. There's some people in this country can't get a job and want to walk. Um, and they would love to do it. I'm sure there's people going out of college at the moment that would love to do it. Love to do it. If they get a decent wage. But, but again. Again, to push the can on the wall and say, oh, whinge, whinge, quip, cry. We won't do it. We just And then they won't do anything about it. Again, it's you have to drag yourself through the mud to get something done. And I don't mind doing that. Really, really don't. Because at the end of the day, and I was happy to report to that fellow. And he, he thanked me very much. Because at the end of the day, he said, thanks very much. Because as he said to me, and I, I didn't know this until he said it, until you know, I said to him, I, you know, I got the couch out. And he said, I seen them out doing it. Um, so, you know, again, as he said, he, he told the local county council, and he said they didn't do fuck all about it. And he say, and they didn't do fuck all about you know, people little around his neighbourhood, and again, he has a associate, so it's a kind of a state. Um, about the residence committee having to pick up loads of rubbish and everything like that. Um, and the council, the council not really helping them, giving them equipment and things like that. Um, but that's a story for a different day. Um, he said that the county council, the county council wouldn't do anything about it. Um, and this fellow was elected, and this fellow was getting paid, and he won't do anything about it. And would you believe, at the end of the day, and as he said to me, and he said to me, would you believe a volunteer political activist um, made the Celts a move, made them do something? Um, yeah, and which is true, but again, at the end of the day, I had to drag myself, you know, basically had to, basically have to say, you know, right, I'm going to come down and I see what's the story, which is. Um, so that's the point we're at. But thankfully, at the end of the day, at least the moral of the story, I'm happy that something was done. And I'm sure he's glad too. Um, and obviously, again, I say to people, you know, contact me, because again, some things you can't get done, some things you can't get done. Um, because again, you know, it's like talking to the wall in some departments, because you email them. Like, I spend sometimes hours in the evening emailing different departments, emailing different county councillors, emailing senators, trying to get things changed, trying to get things done, the diplomat- diplomatic way, trying to get access. Um, sometimes you meet a blank wall, nothing being said to you. I, at least I, I'm very appreciated when one of the, even a county council or anybody like that replies to me and says, you know, I understand your concern, I understand this. I have huge respect, a huge respect for a county council or just or a senator or a TD. They just say to you, you know, acknowledge your email and just say, you know, take for you for bringing this to your attention. You know, again, because it takes me time. I'm dyslexic, I have to write it out first and check out the spell and have to use voice, you know, the voice thing to, um, to understand what I'm saying. Um, and everything like that. So, you know, it does take time. This takes time, and it takes longer for me to write it than an only person. But I do it because I want to help people. And that's what I'm here for. I want to help people. I want to help communities, and I want to help people as much as I can. And again, I was delighted to hear that the Celts had done something, and that I made the Celts do something. Um, because at the end of the day, as I always say to people, I'm always happy to help somebody. And I did help, and I'm glad that I helped. Um, but hopefully it doesn't get as bad again. But as I said to you, man, you'll keep me updated. Keep me updated with it. And if I have to talk about it again, if I have to even mention the county council, there will be trouble. And as I said, there will be trouble. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and bye.